Hey guys, we are going to uh, open, I guess we'll just talk about Creeping Tar Pit and like Creeping Tar Pit is a card I look at and I say to myself, huh, how is this card like $22, $24 right now? How much are the foils? Like $40 maybe? And now it is a very good card. I'm probably missing one because I have, a, yeah, I'm missing one because I have a place of non-foils somewhere. Creeping Tar Pit is a very good card. So again, I'm not going to tell you, oh, well, we should all buy Creeping Tar Pit because it's already too late for you guys to buy this card. But when you look at the card, the reason, understanding the reason why it is as expensive as it is, uh, is very important. Uh, the reason it's expensive is because of Legacy. Legacy is a known format. When I mean known format, there are cards that, when introduced immediately into Legacy, are immediately played by Index. Now, they might fall out of favor, they might, you know, the meta might change slightly, but the decks that are known do the best. There's not going to be a new deck that just does fantastic. The support is not there. Something like Miracles is as close as a new deck as you can get. And the Miracles deck uses the same cards a lot of decks use in blue. Ponder, Brainstorm, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Um, cards like this that every blue deck uses. Now, you might ask yourself, okay, okay, why is Creeping Tar Pit 20 plus dollars? And the answer to that question is, because there's another card in Legacy called JST Mind Sculptor. JST Mind Sculptor is dominant. He is absolutely dominant in Legacy. He's the end all, be all in Legacy. For blue decks, at least. Very difficult to deal with. His, you know, four abilities, his... Not just like, I mean, obviously you're just gonna use two of them most times, but that card advantage that he gives you or the card filtering he gives you is incredible for JST Mind Sculptor. This card kills JST Mind Sculptor. That's why this card is the price it currently is. Um, and that's the only reason the card is at the price. It doesn't see any modern play. And it doesn't have really, like when you look at it, when I looked at it the first time I saw it, like Celestial Colonnade is the one that sees modern play and so is uh, Raging Ravine. And I probably should do Raging Ravine soon, uh, if not today, because that card has recently spiked, more recently than this card. This card has always been a little stable. It's always ticked up in price, but it's not been like a huge jump in price. The card is very good. I don't take anything away from the card. It's just, one of those cards that because it's not reprinted it will keep going up and up in price and there's really no i don't think there's an end point for this card i feel like this card is a very safe place to put your trade value into but at the same time it's not going to like double in price overnight it's already at a price point where it is extremely high bye guys